Hello guys, we are Mark and Drea and today we are going to explore the amazing Aglikai Beach. It's a place where we experience the most incredible sunrise ever, witnessed coconut harvesting, observed hut building, had outstanding time on the beach and explored the nearby viewpoint. I actually think that this place could be a great example of how to properly create accommodation. This place is relatively unknown, but we fell in love with it immediately. Overall, it was one of the best days during our entire Rumblon adventure. But first, let's talk about how to get here. This is part of our bigger trip, where we are exploring Central Philippines, specifically Tablas, Romblon, Cebuyan, and Cresta de Gallo Island. Aglikay Beach is located on the east coast of Tablas. We came here from Boracay Katiklan, Jetty Port, through Santa Fe and Pili Beach. And it's our second stop on the island. However, you can also reach here more easily via nearby Tugdan Airport. No, it's too easy. <laughs> what are you doing? Sometimes when you want to get unique shots, you have to choose a unique approach. And you know what? I just feel like it's going to be a cool experience. Hopefully it won't be too bumpy. While Mark is doing his unforgettable shots from the trunk. Ouch! <laughs> we are heading back to Santa Fe Port. From there, we are hiring a private tricycle to Aglikay Beach. It took about 2 hours and 1,000 pesos there. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Aglikay Beach appears. It's a secluded place, sitting in a cove. I can't wait to explore this awesome place. I really like how well designed this place is. Right after arriving, you can see that someone put a lot of effort into the design of this place. The beautiful avenue lined with tropical flowers and trees creates a unique atmosphere. And I must say that we really fell in love with this place. We even decided to return here at the end of our Romblon adventure. Everywhere you look, it's just beauty. You know what? To be on the beautiful beach deserves to have fresh coconut juice. I haven't seen yet how they harvesting the coconuts. Maybe local guy here will show you. I must admire these skillful guys who climb the palms without any safety gear. you won't find fresher coconuts than those fresh from the tree. The beach is great, but I see the cliff. Can we climb up there? It looks like we can. The locals have made a path and it's definitely worth checking out. From up there, you can see the whole bay with the beach. If you go a bit further to the other side, 
there's a beautiful view of the other coves. When you look into the distance over there, that's where we were a few days ago. On the beach, there is a main building with a cool terrace where we spend a lot of time. It also serves as a restaurant and from there you can enjoy a stunning view of the sea. I immediately turn it into my workspace. <laughs> you know what my friend said uh, when I showed him uh, where I'm working from? What? That he will immediately complain about his working conditions to his employer. <laughs> <laughs> what fascinated me was the birds. Birds everywhere, literally within arm's reach. Yeah, sometimes they even jump on our table. Where else can you get this close to nature? Cows chilling around the entire area, acting as a natural grass cutters. I had some conversations with them. Did you? Yeah. Mm. It's interesting how this place is built in different elevations with different paths and shortcuts. We stayed up there on the hill and the view from there was breathtaking. And most importantly, the most beautiful sunrise we ever seen. I have to say that I woke up early just to hear and see this. Pure magic. Whenever I think I've seen a lot, nature surprises me with something new. And this is one example. Oh, I almost forget, since I've already learned about coconut harvesting, maybe I can also learn something about the hut building. So let's get to it. It's Maganda, Maganda. Very nice, I want one as well, for me. These guys have no clue what I'm talking about, right? They don't speak English, but also Tagalog. They use their own dialect. Did you know that there are around 120 to 175 different languages in the Philippines? That many? Yep. This place is so peaceful, just a few minivans with tourists and we have this place all to ourselves. Playing games, resting. I have to admit that even I'm always doing something, I've completely immersed myself in this chilling atmosphere. I'm just here and watching the waves. Complete relaxation. No people, no divers, no piers, no boats. Well, except for this only one. It's almost unbelievable. By the way, what did you mean when you said that this place would be an example of how to create accommodation? This place is mostly made from natural materials, right? Grass areas, pathways are natural using stones, wooden fences, etc. Did you notice that the concrete is only used as the base of the buildings? Yes. This place is really inspirational in terms of creating a wonderful place while being still respectful to the nature at the same time. If I have ever intentions to build something like that, this would be my way to doing that. This staff were very friendly here and Chloe quickly made her friends. We said goodbye without knowing that we will return soon. <laughs> Another adventure awaits, take care everyone and we will see you on our journey in search of the hidden treasures of the Philippines in the next episodes. See ya! See ya.